Double Double Whistle Trouble, written and told by Kiefer Adams. And there's another thing, grunted Gordon to Duck one morning. You don't have to keep puffing into the station and blowing your whistle like it's going to burst. I've told Henry and I'm telling you, whistling isn't wrong, but we just don't do it, Duck muttered under his breath. Duck the Great Western Engine had been dealing with the usual complaints of Gordon for the last three days. His whistle, which he was very proud of as well as his Great Western heritage, had been getting on Gordon's nerves and the big blue engine saw to it that his voice would be heard along with everything else. Duck was starting to get rather fed up. I say, Gordon, make sure you don't burst your whistle valve again, otherwise you'll scream through the station like a banshee like last time. You weren't even here, snorted Gordon, so you can't tell me what to do. And Gordon fussed away to the big station once again. Duck grumbled to himself. It was never always a good thing when Gordon complained, as sometimes the engines never heard the end of it. Gordon backed onto his train at the big station. He was still annoyed with his conversation with Duck, but he was hoping that a good long run would make him forget all about it. The guard had just blown his whistle when Gordon gave a sharp blast of his own. Then there was trouble. Gordon blew so hard that his whistle valve came loose. Again. Oh no, he groaned. His driver managed to shut off the regulator just in time, but it appeared Gordon had to go to the works for a new whistle. I can't abandon the express, not now, Gordon wailed. Henry, who was close by, promised to look after the express until Gordon returned. Feeling rather miserable, but thankful for Henry's kind gesture, Gordon limped to the works, wondering if his whistle would be repaired. Meanwhile, Duck was working on his branch line. He was still annoyed with Gordon. Can't tell me to whistle in stations or not, he muttered. I'll show Gordon the next time I see him. I'll even and Duck angrily gave three sharp blasts of his whistle. Calm down, old boy, said his driver. You're not exactly the express. I wish I was, grumbled Duck. Before long, it was time for Duck to leave. He fussed out of the station, determined to have his say the next time he and Gordon met. Later that day, Gordon was back on the express, his trip to the works had been uneventful. Hoping that his whistle had been repaired, Gordon was very upset that he had to have a temporary one until his whistle could be fixed properly. As he waited for his connection with Scar Lowy at Croven's Gate, Gordon seethed with rage. I can't believe I'm given a temporary whistle, he grumbled. How long will this last? I mean, it sounds horrible, it's degrading, it's... But then Gordon stopped in his tracks. When he'd left the works, he gave his whistle a test and realised that there was something familiar about it. By the time Scarlowy arrived, Gordon had a sly smile on his face. He knew exactly what he was going to do. Duck, meanwhile, was shunting trucks at Crosby Yard. The thought of whistles was still playing on his mind. The foreman was annoyed with Duck too, as he just wanted some peace and quiet. As Duck marshalled a long line of trucks for Oliver to take away, he heard the sound of an engine puffing in the distance. Duck didn't need to guess who it was. This is going to be a treat, he huffed. But Duck was then caught by surprise when a loud whistle similar to his own screeched through the station, with Gordon thundering past with it. Good heavens! cried Duck. Gordon and the Express rocketed through Crosby and were out of sight as soon as they arrived. Duck's mouth hung open. He was unsure what to make of the whistle he had just heard, which he claimed was proper and great western.
That evening, when Duck limped to the sheds, the story of Gordon's new whistle had already arrived before him. What a lark, chuckled Thomas. Your whistle's become quite popular, Duck. A splendid sound, if I do say so myself, chuckled Henry. I say, Duck, could James and I have a whistle like yours? Duck just groaned. Don't worry, little Duck, said Gordon. The whistle's only temporary. I'll have my old whistle back soon. But for now, the fat controller's just going to have to accept he's got two engines with the same whistle. Gordon gave his new whistle two sharp blasts, and Thomas and Henry cackled with laughter. Duck moaned and looked at his buffers. He sensed that it was going to be a long time before he brought up the subject of whistles.